Hello everybody, you're the four back with GTA Vice City. In the last episode, we finished up Umberto's missions. We that's about it. And I'm really happy we're done the missions because they're some of my least favorite missions in the game. And I just I'm just so happy that we're done it. Like, uh, it's the most annoying part of the game. I, I find it very boring doing those missions. But you know what? Screw it, we're done with it. That's all that matters. So now let's go see what Mr. Kent Poole wants. I swear to God, I don't know about you guys, if that makes me really stereotypical about British people, but whenever I hear Kent Poole talk, I think of Gavin Free from Rooster Teeth. I don't know if that makes me like, like, I don't know, maybe just, uh, racist against uh, English people, but I don't know about you guys, but I always see a Gavin Free. Is it wrong of me to think that? I don't know. <laughs> but I always think that. And let's go see what Mr. Kent Poole has for us. We're going on death row. Fantastic. Awesome. We're going to death row already. We didn't do much. Oh, We're going to death row. I'm going to save your beer, mate. What the hell are you talking about? You know that wanker D is the buglemeister? He's got your boy Lance. Word is you might try to jump. You didn't jump high enough if you know what I mean. Where did he take him? Ah, oh, all right, all right, plain mate. English. Keep your party on. They quite have a cross turn to jump you. Bloody hell. You nutter. All right, so turns out Diaz has kidnapped Lance, so now we must save him. And to make this game more difficult, you know what they did? They have Lance have a heart, a health meter, so we have to save him uh, before he dies. So mm, that makes the, that makes the game even more difficult. Not the game, the mission more difficult. Which you know, I give the game props; it does make the uh, game more difficult. Which you now you know GTA is relatively difficult game. Um, yes, broken wings. Oh, thank, thank goodness, broken wings is on. And something makes this mission really strange. You know how cops are supposed to do like justice for the like the like the world, it's supposed to help people out in need. But no, here in the world of GTA, cops they chase after people running down the street. Okay, you hit them with your car. They'll chase that. They'll go after you. They're like, oh, someone hit me with my car. Drop everything. Let's go after them. But, hold on. Fair part. Fair part's coming up. We're gonna have my mom is waiting. Wait, hold on. It's coming up now. Yes, it is. These broken wings and learn to fly again. And anyway, uh, you know, nope. A guy in trouble. A guy in distress. A guy who was kidnapped. Now, now, let's not do that. Let's. Let's just cops not do that. Like, cops, cops just make no sense. I, I freaking hate cops in this game. They're just so stupid. Okay, but here we are, guys. Right here. All right, what you want to do, I highly recommend, is pulling out your sniper rifle. Not your player sniper rifle. And pick them off. Alright, there we go. Now we have a warrant. I don't care. I'm actually gonna move my uh, car up a little bit more so I can like grab it later because I like this car. And the Voodoo just randomly disappeared. Shout out to GTA having random vehicles disappear. But there's one thing about this mission that is better than a lot of them. You can pick up all all these guys drop significant amounts of money. Like you can fail this mission multiple times. Like Lance, let Lance die. But when you do, you can just pick up all like, the money that they drop. You can do this mission over and over and over again, and you will still get a lot of money. Which I think is just really awesome. I like how they did that, I guess. It's unique. It's, it's, it's different compared to other GTA games. Pick this guy up. Whoa, I missed like two people behind me. God damn. You better have the money, dude. Oh, dude, this guy is like... He is relent... Oh, he didn't drop any money, of course. Why would he? But anyway... Pick off these guys, okay, one more guy to pick off, right in here, and dude, he needed one shot left, oh come on, but now, what shall we do, we shall get our pal Lance and untie him. There goes my careful planning blown to shit, thanks to you, you screwed up real good Lance, you killed my brother, what do you expect me to do, mow his lawn? We're gonna have to take out that prick Diaz before he takes us out, you okay to use a gun? Sure, I guess, nice to see you too, let's get out of here. I mean... If you look in this chair, it's like really bloody, so we see you saved him in the nick of time, but 
This is, you thought kill, killing them was the difficult part? No, 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 no. You have not seen the difficult part yet in this mission. The most difficult part of this mission is getting into this car and driving to the hospital. What, driving a guy to the hospital? Tough, what? Yes. I'm actually just gonna take this. Never mind, Sc screw my cheat, it's all messed up. Right, let's listen to B Rock. Diaz's guys are after you. Yes, Diaz's guys are going to chase after you throughout this whole entire mission. Oh, come on. Excuse me. All right, so just gotta hurry up. Uh, just, what you wanna do is just try your best to avoid these guys and, oh, damn, man. He made it through that too, oh, shit. Oh, shit, oh, God. Okay, go, 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 go. They crash into each other. I'm almost there. Oh god. Man, oh jeez, he's on our tail. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Lance, you really need to uh maybe start using this gun. I gotta hope to god that I don't screw anything up and I gotta make this. Why are there a lot of rumpos or ponies or whatever the hell they're called? Oh, I don't I don't see them, but I'm not gonna say anything because you know this this game can be a very big douche, man. But you know, hold on. I think we've lost them good enough to say that we are officially done this mission. Oh thank god we are done this mission. Oh, that, that is one of those difficult missions in the game, bar none. Shit. Shit. Oh god, one of them just drove by really freaking fast. But we passed the mission with no money, don't worry. The reason we don't have any money is because we get money from picking up by shooting and killing, um, uh, Diaz's guys, which I think is relatively nice, but, eh, whatever. The reason I didn't want to say anything that we made it is because I had to do this mission multiple times. And one of the closest times I did it was when I literally was at the hospital and Lance... Check it out. Watch this. Watch this failure. Okay, just nice and easy. Man, I'm making this mission a bitch. I've had multiple problems with this mission. Like, I failed it a few times. But I never thought about using the Trash Master. This is, a, this is really, really helping us out. Look at this, we are just driving so nice and calm. You know, let's listen to some fever or something, my god. I cannot believe that I is, we're almost done, my god. Are you serious? Like, are you being for real? Guys, come on. The mission should be done. There we go. What? No, are you? What? What? Oh, what? What? You? Oh my God! That that is how I failed the mission. That's how I he he was at the hospital. He was. Oh my God! I'm fucking speechless. Yeah, yeah, that happened, and it pisses me off. Oh, we got caught on our cell phone. Tommy, Tomas, it's Cortez. Look, the French are giving me all kinds of trouble, amigo. Them hypocrites. They spend a hundred years stealing from poor countries, and they call me a thief. Huh? <laughs> I'm going to need your help as soon as possible, amigo. So please hurry. Huh? Tommy, I need you, all right? So it appears Colonel Cortez needs our help, and... And I know that, you know, we can do Diaz's missions right away and just do that and not get out of the way. But I'm going to do Colonel Cortez's mission next. Because that mission is, uh... Diaz's mission is special. And I, I don't want to do that just yet. I'd rather do Colonel Cortez's mission and knock that out of the way. Because yet again, there's another tough mission. You know what? Fuck it. GTA. Vice City. Toughest GTA game of all time. Drop it. Drop the mic. It's, 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 that's it. Vice City. Impossible. But anyway, um, like I said, oh, like I said previously, you saw that Lance was at the hospital. He was there, and you know what? You know what's a bigger kick in the pants, guys? I did this mission. I beat it. All right, hear me. I beat it. The video did not save. Like literally, the video stopped recording some point in the video, and then just just died. I could not watch. I could not see the video. It just died. I was furious. I was like, I gotta do this mission all over again? Like, it was just a kick in the dick over and over and over again. 
Like, I did this mission and the video just died. It pissed me off. But you know what? I hope, I hope this is recorded. I hope this is good to go. Alright, I don't want to do this mission again. I've done it so many times. I've died so many times. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of failing this mission. I hope I'm good to go. Alright. So, oh, I just took out that freaking tree. But anyway. In the next part of GTA Vice City, we will do Mr. Colonel Cortez's mission. I've said that before, it is a tough mission. All of GTA Vice City's missions are tough. That's what, I, that's what I'm saying. So, if you guys like the video, you guys can subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys next time. I'll see you guys in the next part of GTA Vice City. Oh, hello, baby. My name is uh, Tommy Versetti. You want to, uh, you want to go uh, make out?